Hey there, Nathan Aaron here, and I just wanted to talk to you guys, and I'm going to try to not be uh, controversial about this. However, I know that uh, I talk to people, and they're like, man, I just feel, I feel a little depressed. And I'm like, well, why do you feel depressed? And they say, I don't know, I should probably go see my counselor. And uh, first let me just say, I don't want to uh, bag on counselors or discourage counselors. I've had uh, plenty of good counselors in my time and I've had plenty of bad counselors and you'll know a good one as soon as you walk in. So if you walk in and it's a good one, pay them whatever they ask. If not, get out of there as fast as you can. They're not worth 10 cents. So all that being said is uh, I'm a coach and coaching and counseling can go hand in hand, but they can also, uh, depending on the type of counseling, they can go separate directions. So I advocate some of it over others. We'll talk about that another time. What I'm talking about here today is depression. People are like, I'm depressed. And I say, well, why? And their first thought is, well, I better go see a counselor. And I say, why? Why would you go pay $125 to sit in some guy's office for 45 minutes? The first step is to knowing what the heck's going on. And you have to ask yourself, why am I sad? Do I have a reason to be sad? And sometimes you do, right? Like, you know, uh, I have a ton of reasons to be sad if I wanted to. I mean, I could be sad today right now, but I believe it's a choice. You know, I could be like, oh, hey, my mom died. Life sucks. Oh, hey, my friend Brandon got shot. Life sucks. Oh, hey, my friend Luke, he, he died of pancreatic cancer. Life sucks. Oh, I have to go to work today. Life sucks. You know what? If I look at all this stuff, yeah, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be real freaking sad because those are real, those are real big deals, right? I mean, those things, when you, when you hear that kind of stuff, it takes every breath out of your lungs. Like you think you're going to black out and throw up because it's so intense pain. The anxiety comes and literally you take a knee because your whole world just slipped away. That's real. I'm not saying it's not. I felt it, you know, and, and sometimes it still comes over me. I mean, the other day I went to get in my truck and I thought I was having a heart attack because the anxiety hit me so hard, but it's awareness. And all of a sudden I go, well, what's going on? Why do I feel this way? Right? Catch your breath, you know, do some, do some uh, techniques to, to stay in the present. You know, maybe, uh, there's a ton. One I like to do is just to use my hands and rub my fingers together and feel the ridges go, wait, I'm here now in the present. If I have a, a bottle of water or a cup of water, I like to spin it around in my hands because that brings me back to the present right there, right now. Okay, here I am. I'm here. I've got a cup of water in my hand. I'm sitting in a chair. I'm okay. Right here, right now in the present, I'm fine. And then I go back to well, what's good. What's good about my life? What, what, do, what am I thankful for? And I start thinking, Wow, I'm really thankful for the time that uh, Brandon and I spent uh, four days together in Los Angeles and we lived it up for four days and we we went to a, a Tony Robbins seminar and we walked back and forth to the hotel and ate all of our meals together and celebrated and got jazzed up about life and got excited about life and got pumped up about life. You know, I get to think about Luke in high school and think about how he was like the star jock, but he was also the biggest, nicest guy you'd ever meet. When a lot of jocks really aren't. I mean, let's just be real. A lot of, a lot of jocks are jerks, but he was like the real deal, heart of gold. And I get to think about him and I and, and the rest of us just hanging out and doing fun things together. You know, I get to think about my mom who was so amazing and how she had a heart of gold and how she taught me all about love and nurturing and, and caring and seeing beautiful in life. You know, the list goes on and on and on. So the first step is, why are you sad? And if the answer is, well, I don't really know. Well, don't go pay somebody $125 to find out. Just sit down and with your pen and your pad and go, well, what's going on in my life? Is there anything going on? And I just want to tell you guys, life happens. You know, some people have this misconception that bad things don't happen. That's nonsense. Bad things happen all the time. I mean, we're in a fallen world. It's broken. It's all screwed up. Like, don't think that it's going to be perfect. And sometimes people get down because it's not perfect. Because they have this misconception that they're just going to be, be perfect and everything's going to be fine and they shouldn't be upset or have bad feelings. It's not true. You're going to have them. But the trick is to stand up and go, boom, 
I'm awesome. I'm freaking awesome. I know how to manage my state. I know what makes me happy. I know what I like. I know what I love. I know how to be thankful. And I'm going to tell you guys, if you can't have gratitude and be thankful in the small things, then when the big things hit you, it's going to take you out. And you're going to want to die. I know. I used to be there. Little things used to take me out all the time. And I'd be like, boo-hoo, I'm going to go die. I'm going to crawl in a hole and die. And then I took control of my life. Why did I take control of my life? Because we can all take control of our lives. Nobody can take control of my life. Nobody can tell me how I'm going to live my life and do what I'm going to do. I get to decide and you get to decide. I don't decide for you. Be who God created you to be. Live how God wanted you to be. Don't live how I live. Live how God wants you to live. But I guarantee you, it's not all sad and doom and gloom. I mean, for real. Gratitude, thankfulness, joy. It's beautiful out there. Life's beautiful. There's always something beautiful. There's always something to be happy about. So I can go on for a minute. I can keep going on. I can talk about this forever because I'm just a little fired up this morning and I'm ready to go face the day. And that's what I do. I got some bad news this morning. It's every day's bad news. There's always bad news, but you know what? I can't let it get me down. I can't stop. I won't stop. I'm not giving up. I'm not being taken out. And, and neither are you because we're awesome. We're just freaking awesome. That's who God made us to be. Freaking awesome. So, um... I'm gonna call it day. I gotta get out there. I gotta get rocking and rolling and get stuff done. So I hope this encourages you and I hope you guys have an amazing day. You know why? Because you're worth it. You're worth having an amazing day, but it's yours to choose. And so if you choose to have a crappy day, I'm sorry to hear that. But if you choose to have an outstanding, amazing day, well, God bless you guys. God bless you either way. But uh, all right, peace. <laughs>